All right, at the grocery store, many foods, including meats, breads, cheeses, come wrapped in plastic packaging, of course. The packaging offers little help in preventing your food from actually spoiling. So health experts have warned about the safety of plastic wrap and the potentially harmful chemicals that could be leaking into your food. So our next guests have been working on an alternative type of packaging made from milk proteins that is even edible. This announced uh, they were finding last week at the annual meeting of the American Chemical Society. And joining us now is USDA chemical engineer and research leader Peggy Tomasula and research chemical engineer Leticia B uh, Bonae. All right, thanks for joining us this morning, ladies. What do we need to know about this? First of all, have we been at risk with the packaging that's been on our cheeses in the grocery? No, absolutely not. You haven't been at risk, but what we propose is a new type of film that can control the oxygen that enters that film or lessen it so that the films are uh, safer and fresher for a longer time in the refrigerator. Okay, so what is that exactly made of? So those films are made of a milk protein called casein. That's the number one protein in milk. Um, it's, a, it's an assortment of several different types of caseins. And it is uh, commercially produced, it is isolated from milk, and then it is uh, spray dried as a powder. And then we take, uh, we use this powder, we rehydrate it, put it back in uh, water, and add some extra uh, other ingredients, which are all edible. And mm. then we uh, spread this film, and we let it dry, and we have a nice uh, shiny plastic. Peggy, do you think this is going to be of interest to uh, a lot of American-based companies looking to wrap their products differently? Yes, it is, because we've already received many inquiries about it, um, probably close to 10 so far from uh, major companies. So they definitely are interested. Uh, it's a nice, uh, sustainable way also of using packaging on food because it can be consumed with the food. Huh, so but it's not actually keeping light out, which has always been a concern of milk and dairy products, um, but this is just keeping it fresher, longer, and it's keeping it uh, more of the air out from interacting with the cheeses. Right, and it could also uh, keep the light out too. We haven't tested it uh, for that, but we could, uh, we believe that it will. And casein is uh, well known for being a UV blocker, and so that, that will uh, protect probably help uh, protect the food from UVs. We still have to test this uh, property of the package in our lab. And so there's, a, there's I, I keep referencing cheeses, but this could be, this film could be used on a lot of different products at the grocery store. Like what else could this be used for? Well, we'd like to stick to uh, milk products mostly because it's uh, best on milk products. And milk is a uh, allergy uh, protein, contains allergic protein. So what we want to do is uh, stick to foods that um, are already dairy ingredients or that perhaps um, contain ingredients uh, from dairy already. So then that would be safe. Yeah, Kevin Kelly. L ladies, it's Kevin Kelly. Quick question for you. What is the anticipated cost? Is this going to be an expensive application? Are we going to see it in limited use or can you mass produce it? Because it seems like this is a very intensive process. Well, we uh, did a quick cost analysis yesterday, um, back of envelope type. It looks like the cost of processing is about three cents per meter squared of uh, finished film that you get. Now on top of that, uh, we use casein in our experiments because it's, we can buy it in powder form, mix it up, and use it. Um, but we would eventually use, uh, say, uh, non-fat dry milk or other cheaper forms of milk to put in these films, which would lower the uh, feed cost. So um, uh, case, cap, uh, casein is about $2 a pound right now, and I guess added to the f in film cost, the entire film would be 53 cents per meter squared. Wow. All right. So that you can even flavor these. I am absolutely impressed that you can even use the, this lining for pizza boxes. <laughs> the the yeah, uses yeah. for this are endless, <laughs> and it could, uh, it could be like a spray-on coating. Uh, that could prevent grease and stains. So I, the, the uses are endless. I love this kind of innovation and how it can be a game changer in uh, foods and the way we package things. It's great. Uh, Peggy and Leticia, thanks for joining us this morning.